How's it going everyone? I'm out on my friend David's boat. You guys probably recognize him from some of my other YouTube videos. His channel is Living Big. Um, we're gonna do some blue water diving today and some reef diving. Uh, we got Sam and Ali already out in the water. And uh, my friend actually is here from Poland, Philip. So he's gonna try diving for his first time today. Uh, quite a bit different out here in Hawaii than it is in Poland. So Just a little bit, yeah. I think he's gonna enjoy it, so. Let's get in the water and see what's out here. So we got in the water about 645, 650, and there were tons of these big trigger fish everywhere. Um, really cool to see, you know, not a lot of Opelo hanging out, but lots of these trigger fish. Here was a nice rainbow runner off in the distance, but you know, he was a little too far away to take a shot on, so decided not to. There's another shot of all those trigger fish. Um, and you can really see how good the viz was out here this day. So this is kind of the area we're diving. They're these big fish nets and they basically just breed fish in these big nets and then have them strapped to buoys. And you can see how tight those ropes are up there going to the buoys. The current was absolutely ripping this day. I thought for sure we were gonna see some big fish out here, but nothing came by except for a few like smaller, like 10 pound and under rainbow runners. So here's some cool rough tooth dolphins that we saw also. And then we went ahead and actually moved to a different spot because there just weren't a lot of fish around. Um, so here's another fad that we dove and there was tons of bait on it. Look at all these Opelu. I mean, there were absolutely hundreds of Opelu. And all day long I was thinking, oh, we're gonna see a mahi-mahi, but it never happened. So we decided to move into uh, the reef and do some reef diving. Um, so here was one of my first drops down and there was some big moo over to my right and I was laying on the bottom, kind of looking at my left, kind of gazing over at the right, and then switching back to the left. Um, and then finally one of these guys kind of came in, and I definitely had a shot I could have gotten there, but I was a little too harsh with my gun movements, managed to spook him, and didn't end up catching that moo, unfortunately. Um, so I went back down to that same area, and on this dive, a nice uku came in, and you can kind of see him coming in. Not a monster, but a nice solid little one, and uh, you know, I don't know what happened if the shot was too low there or what, but he ended up ripping off. Kind of a bummer. Would have been nice to get that one, but oh well. On this next dive down, I really wanted to, you know, kind of spear something already. Um, so I went down looking for some bigger fish. Nothing came in, and I saw this nice Joe Lewis cruising around. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, take this Joe Lewis or Munu. Um, pretty good shot. Super excited to catch them. I love eating these guys. They taste really good, so... Another first one in the in the bag. Um, and then on this dive, I saw two nice monocollies coming in. And I got super excited. I love catching monocollies. They came right up to me. This big one was right there. I took a shot, and I don't know what happened, but I completely missed the fish. Um, so that was kind of a drag, but oh well. Um, on this next dive, I saw a cave, and there was a nice to'ow down there. And I went down, shot it, and I didn't even think I had it for a second because I kind of strung it right just perfectly through the gills so he was still free swimming. But I was able to, uh, you know, get him up to the surface, catch him, and it was, you know, a pretty nice size to house. So I was pretty stoked. I don't shoot a lot of these guys, so it's always nice to get a, a decent sized one. On this next dive, I saw another nice twow down on the bottom, but then I saw these Moana Collies come by, and I got completely, you know, sidetracked. I thought, okay, I'm going to try to go for one of these Moana Collies now. And there was actually three of them. There's a third one, and I thought maybe I can get two of them to line up. I've gotten, like, you know, two to line up, I think, once or twice before and managed to spear both of them, and I thought I had a chance right here but they just didn't quite line up, and then uh, I pretty much missed my opportunity to shoot one after that, so they pretty much took off. And then I looked over to my left, and there was this big school of papillo, big moana collies, like 15, 20 nice fish just swimming by, and I think I just got so sidetracked, I just decided not to shoot anything on that dive. This next dive down, um, I was facing kind of straight forward and there was a moo off to my right and I kind of was transitioning from you know looking off straight to looking at the moo just because I didn't want to scare it away but he came over and I got a pretty decent holding shot not like a stone shot or anything but a pretty decent holding shot through his belly um, was able to secure him and pretty stoked because you know Phil wanted to cook up some Polish style recipe tonight and uh, it's really cool that I was able to kind of catch, you know, one of the more like, more of like a popular Hawaii fish to be using for this Polish style recipe. So pretty cool.
Hi, you guys. That was a super fun day out on the water. Um, I was so excited to be able to take Phil out there, you know, coming all the way from Poland. He's never seen anything like this, and he just had a blast. Just, I mean, he didn't spear anything, but just swimming around, you know, he saw a lot of cool stuff, and it was a really fun day. Caught this nice Joe Lewis right here. Uh, pretty good size. Caught a nice little moo. I mean, it's not a monster moo, but, you know, a nice little three-pound moo, probably. Um, and then I caught a nice little to owl as well. So, Phil's inside actually prepping some veggies right now. And we're going to do a really cool Polish recipe that he's really excited to try. So I'm going to go ahead and fillet these guys out. Phil's going to come out here, and then we're going to start cooking them up. You! Here I just went ahead and cut the slabs of meat off each side of the fish. Um, and then I went ahead and just cut the skin off pulled out the pin bones on each piece, and I did the same thing with the towel. All right, you guys, so the fish is all filleted and ready to go, and uh, Philip's out here now. Philip, what did you think of diving in Hawaii? Do you like it? Amazing time. I've never seen anything like this. I hope I can come there next time, maybe actually spear some fish, but seeing dolphins, seeing turtles underwater, seeing the reef, amazing time. Mm -hmm. We actually saw some uh, rough-toothed dolphins out there, so it was super amazing to see them. Really cute little guys, um, but yeah. Philip's right, it was an excellent day out there on the water, as I've already said. So Philip is going to talk about the recipe right now and what we're going to be making. So Philip, go for it. Dzisiaj przygotujemy rybę po grecku. Jest to dosyć popularna potrawa w Polsce, szczególnie w okresie świątecznym, a ponieważ święta były właśnie nie wiem, tydzień, dwa tygodnie temu, fajnie by było nauczyć się tutaj właśnie na Hawajach rybę po grecku, mimo iż nie ma za dużo wspólnego z Grecją. Jest to typowo polski przepis. All right, awesome. So, we got all the fish fillets right here. What are we gonna start with? Uh, so let's cut it into uh, rectangles, about like an inch by inch and a half, maybe something like that. Inch by inch and a half, okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna cut them like that maybe? Maybe a little, maybe larger. Larger, larger like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's the first one, you guys. We're gonna cut some pieces up just like that one. About right. Yeah, do the same thing with the, uh, we ended up using the to'ao and the mu. We're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these cut up. All right, so we got all the uh, fish right here chunked up into those little pieces. So now what, Phil? Yeah, now we're gonna take some salt and you know sprinkle it all around. Probably a little more. <laughs> now pepper, also on every single piece. We want every piece to be flavorful. So our salt and pepper like pretty common. Uh... Yeah, those are like, pretty much the only two spices we use in Poland. Okay. Unless unless someone imports something from India or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah, now that we have salt and pepper on it, we'll take some lime and like squeeze a little bit on uh, on some on all, every single piece, right? And after that's done, we're just gonna leave it to sit for like 15 minutes, and hopefully it will develop some good flavor. All right, so we have all the veggies laid out now. Phil, why don't you tell us what we got in front of us and kind of what the next step is? Yeah, so we got onions. We got some leek grated on the on a grater, as well as carrots grated on the grater. Uh, then we have some tomato paste, we have some pepper, we have some salt, we have some paprika, as well as bay leaves. And then at the end, actually, we're going to add some Hawaiian twist to it. That was uh, recommended to me by, actually by my grandma. Shout out Babcia Grozinka, shout out Babcia Anya. And we're actually going to put some uh, pineapple at the end. So yeah, let's start by putting some oil into the wok. So now I can toss in the onions. I've heard apparently that if you leave it without moving it, it gets saute better, but um, because apparently it keeps the flavor inside. But I, that was from like one YouTube video that I watched before making this. So we'll see if that's true. <laughs> the onions are looking pretty good. Uh, they're not quite ready yet, but I think it's time to add the carrots and the leeks. So let's do that. So yeah guys, so we just took a, a grater and just ground like I think one and a half carrots down and then like one big leek all the way down shredded no, mostly the mostly the white part of the leek yeah just the, okay yeah, just the white part of the leek we didn't end up grinding uh, up much of the leaves so we're gonna add all that in all of the colors in there okay. the colors yeah it's, uh, this is honestly the combination they use in Poland so often uh, this has a name it's called Wojczyzna and it's like a bunch of veggies that got to Poland from uh, Italy and yeah, it's like leek, celery, carrots, onions, and we use that for so many dishes. One of them is this, of course. Awesome, it's smelling really good. Yeah, it's 
looking starting to look really nice. Uh, I think the veggies are about ready for some uh, tomato paste, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. You want it to be like pretty thick? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and start adding some water as well. Cooking is a lot about eyeballing, and at least with, if, in my experience. So, <laughs> and. I think I'm gonna go ahead and also add the bay leaves. Uh, I'm gonna put them in and then later on I'm actually just gonna take them out. We don't want to eat them, we just want the flavor from them. Gonna add some paprika as well. This is actually paprika mixed with some like other spices with, with some chili. Uh, you know, obviously depends what you like, but when we, I like spicy stuff, so just gonna add the whole thing, like almost the whole thing. All right, so that's looking pretty done. Yeah, it smells it super good. Pretty ready, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and put in a different bowl. Um, it might need some more spices, but that's obviously personal preference. But yeah, so we're gonna put this aside and then we're gonna make the fish and then we're gonna combine it at the end. All right, so our veggies are all finished and we're ready to cook the fish. So what am I gonna do here? Yeah, so we only want to batter it in uh, flour, nothing else. The, the fish is nicely marinated. I used a little towel just to make it a little less dry. And now just put in the flour, you know, give it a good, whatever, spin or something. <laughs> and put it into the, put into the wok and we're gonna fry it. Uh, we don't wanna over fry it. We just want pretty much it to get golden. And you know, obviously we want the inside to be cooked, but. Definitely not over fried. All right guys, so the fish looks done. I think it's been about five minutes maybe. And we're just gonna plot all these little pieces. And we just got some paper towels right here. And we're basically just gonna put these guys on the paper towels to soak up any oil. And then I'm gonna get the uh, rest of this fish in over here, which I've already put a uh, flour on. And then we're gonna keep on making Paul's special recipe. So, or Phil's, <laughs> Paul's, Phil's special recipe. So let's get this going. All right, you guys. So I just finished frying up all that moo and ta'ape. I mean, what better fish to use for this recipe, right? Just some super, I don't know, local Hawaiian fish. Yeah, so show me what to do here. Yeah, so we're gonna take, you know, just a spoonful of, of or how many veggies you need and just put it on the bottom. And this is the same veggie mix that we made earlier on. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're gonna use that, put it on the bottom, just layer that, right? So you want a layer of, fit or of veggies underneath the fish. So now let's put the fish on, and then we're gonna add the Hawaiian twist. You wanna put the fish on? Sure, yeah. yeah. Awesome, so here's the fish, you guys. We got this little dish right here. And uh, just like a solid layer of fish, or does it need to be solid, or how does it You know, work? I mean, the more you put here, the less you're gonna have on the next for the next layer. So okay. just kinda like feel it out. I'm just gonna put some veggies, or Pineapple, not veggies. And okay. these are actually uh, pineapples that my parents grew in our yard, so kind of cool to be using those here. Even more local, huh? <laughs> Even more local, yeah. Yeah. So now that we have pineapples on, we're gonna put on another layer of the veggies. It's just like baking a cake, I guess, huh? <laughs> What's great about this dish is that you can eat it. Uh, it's actually better after a day uh, or two, even. Mm, we're we're probably gonna let it sit for a while just to just to let the flavors like develop and combine and should be way better also you can eat it cold and as well as hot so you can literally put it in the fridge and then eat it for breakfast the next morning just straight out of the fridge awesome. yeah that looks that looks good i think yeah we got more pineapples and, more and you want yeah, to finish it off finish it off i guess we're not gonna make a whole layer but uh <laughs> we're gonna just top it off and yeah when when you serve it just you know scoop it out from the bottom and try to grab some fish as well as all the layers of the veggies and pineapple. Just put it on the plate and enjoy. Yeah. Like, Ideally you would like a little bit more veggies so you can, you know, fill the top layer, but that's that's the downside of eyeballing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're gonna cover this with lid and then put it in the fridge for... Well, I think we're gonna let it like just cool down for a bit. Cool down for maybe, a bit. Maybe then in the fridge and then eat it in like an hour or two. We'll see. Hour or two, okay. We'll see you guys then. See you. Yo! All right, you guys, so the fish uh, sat for maybe like three hours, yeah. probably. A, a good amount of time, I guess, usually would be overnight. Yeah, overnight, usually after a day or two, is probably the best, but you know, it's food, so it'll probably taste good, hopefully. Yeah, we're hungry, so we gotta get eating, you know, you know how it goes. So, uh, Phil, why don't you try it? I mean, it's your, you know, your mm, recipe. Yeah. All right, so yeah, you wanna, you know, dig deep and get all the layers, get some fish, get some veggies, and just, you know, Put it on your plate. 
I think that's enough. But yeah, yeah, you go, go ahead. ahead and try it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a try too. Let's see. Yeah, this is super good. I love the pineapple in there and those veggies we made. It's a this is actually a really good combination. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never tried any Polish food before really. Well, I guess I actually visited Poland like two years, three years ago and stayed at Philip's house, but this is really good. You guys should definitely give this recipe a try. Yeah, Reba po grecku actually means fish Greek style because I guess this recipe comes kind of is influenced by Greek cuisine, but um yeah, it doesn't really have much to do with Greece. It's definitely a Polish recipe. Um Definitely recommend trying it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you guys, it's been a long day of cooking, and yesterday was a long day of diving. We're super hungry. We're gonna get eating. Smash mego. Smash mego. <laughs> <laughs>